Salihin from Canada says, there's an Imam, and this Imam believes in deviant things, such as that stoning is not part of Sharia, uh, prescribed punishment such as amputation of the hand uh, of a person who uh, steals something. Um, he doesn't believe in black magic. He doesn't believe that non-Muslims would not be admitted to Jannah, etc. So he says, can we pray behind such a person? The answer is no. This person is bad news. I don't know how such a person can be allowed to give sermons, but it's Canada. It's the US. What do you expect? There is no body governing them. You want to become famous? You go to these countries and say anything about Islam. Negative. You reject the Quran. Everybody will clap to you. Say heinous things. Lie. Talk about corrupt aqidah. They'll give you a thumbs up, especially your ethnicity. So if you're from Pakistan, all the Pakistanis back you up. If you're from Egypt, all the Egyptians will back you up in that, in that country. No, if you're from Morocco, all the Moroccans will back you up. People do not follow Quran and Sunnah anymore. They follow their football club. They follow their uh, uh, um, uh, country of origin. And this is problematic when you don't have a body of real scholars auditing such imams, preventing such imams from addressing the people. Because at the end of the day, tomorrow he's going to say, here are ta'wiz. You wear them and it protects you from uh, evil eye or from this or from that. He's doing shirk. But nobody is there to stand up for such imams. So should we pray behind him? The answer is no.